How, how do you think the defense played once they kind of settled down after that, that first drive? Yeah, you know, it it seems like it's a little sort of a, a recurrent thing for us, you know, getting that first drive jitters out. But I think they did. They think they settled down. They they made some, uh, you know, a three and out. I think there was a, a four and a punt there, you know, the next two series. So it just kind of settled them down. Um, getting the, uh, the fumble right there after halftime, I think, you know, helped provide them a little bit of juice. So, you know, a lot of things that we can improve on. Uh, but, you know what, I think we did some good things too. I think guys were flying around. You know, I thought there were some decent uh, contact hits out there. Um, and that's what I was looking for. I thought, you know, the I thought we did well. There's a couple of runs that broke. You know, the, the touchdown run at the beginning, that was just a when they shifted, that was a, an error on our guys, you know, just getting the thing readjusted. Um, and then there was one that popped uh, when we didn't make the trip fully on a line stunt. But other than that, I thought our guys did a nice job at the line of scrimmage, controlling the run game. So, you, you know, you sort of take some of those QB scrambles out. And I think uh, from a run standpoint, I thought we did really well in that regard. So um, obviously some things that, that we need to clean up. Um, and, you know, we got to get them cleaned up because the big one next week. You put a lot on your guys, you know, just football IQ things that they have to, to go through. So it kind of is surprising that so many freshmen are playing so well, so quickly. What, what do they do? I mean, between Keaton's play on that screen and Dion and you know Far getting a ton of reps in there. Yeah, you know, I mean, we know sort of what the what the roster was going to look like, especially this week, and uh, knew some young guys were going to have to step up. You know, we talked about it, you know, going into the game, especially those three were going to get you know a fair amount of reps, and they did. And, uh, I thought they handled themselves well. We'll look back at the film. There was a couple things that we got adjusted on the sideline, uh, you know, that, that didn't get us hurt, but, you know, we got to get, you know, corrected with them. Um, but you have to remember that when you're a freshman, those those are new looks. Like, you can't give them everything in fall camp. You try your best, but then something else happens and you got to try to get it corrected on the sideline. Uh, again, you hope it doesn't hurt you. And, didn't tonight in that regard. So, uh, but overall, uh, I I know we can play better as a defense. Um, you know, I, I think energy-wise, you know, it was a little bit up and down. Uh, you know, and we just need to be able to sustain that. So, uh, but they played hard. They made the correction in the sideline. There was no one ever lost their cool. There was good composure in that regard. So, uh, you know, we'll move on to the next. Coach, it was pretty good. Passing game you just faced with Brett. You know, he had a little success early and then uh, kind of faded there towards the end and they couldn't really move the ball down the field. How do you feel like the secondary played throughout the game? I will have to see, you know, on the film. You know, I thought uh, early, you know, I, I thought they were getting their feet wet a little bit and maybe not challenging routes that, that necessarily that we were challenging through camp. But I, you also, you know, you're trying to get the, the first game jitters out. Like, what can you do? What can't you do? You don't want to. It's different. You get beat for a touchdown in practice, nothing happens. You get beat for a touchdown in front of 65,000. You know, it's a whole different story. So, um, but now you hope that they got those reps in them. And now they're like, OK, listen, we can't be afraid to, to challenge it and shut down, you know, receivers and because um, we're getting a little bit loose on some of those fallouts out there on the edge. You, you talked about uh, needing JJ to take his game to the next level. Strip sack, punt block, is it moving in the right direction? Moving in the right direction. I, I put a lot on him this week, you know, sort of as that uh, as a guy to, to be a game changer and I thought for the most part he did. Uh, you know, he was in a really good mindset all day and so pleased with that performance. You know, they're a player too that he left out there and he knows and uh, you know we really got lucky I mean he should have had a TFL on the, the fumble that, that broke and then Ty made a, a unbelievable you know hit coming out of the post but his face right on the ball good job by Keydron yeah, Smith and would like to score those but did a nice job um, but it shouldn't even happen it should have been a TFL between him and, and DeAndre back there but I thought their backs ran hard uh, I thought they were a really well coached team um, and we knew we were in for a challenge, and I thought our guys after that first drive again settled in and uh, and played decent. Coach, I'm, Mark, I'm, Coach, I'm 
I'm talking to Coach Stoops after the game. He seems to have already kind of uh, moved past the whole the whole tying uh, tying of Bear Bryant's record uh, for most wins. Um, I'm just curious as to uh, what your thoughts are about him reaching that milestone as someone who's been here for uh, five years and just uh, watched him uh, grow this program. Well, it's it's really amazing when you get put in the same conversation as, as a coach like Bear Bryant and and coach is so humble he'll he'll deflect all the the praise but he he deserves you know the majority of it you know and I've been lucky I, I've been sort of on the uptick you know when I came first year in 2018 you know that was a, a 10 win season I didn't have to be on the ground floor and uh, really grind through some of the you know the, the tough building block moments um, uh, but it's just a testament to, you know, how much he loves his program, how much he loves the kids, the coaching staff, and uh, you know, again, uh, we'll try to heap the praise on him because he won't do it on himself. Their offensive line has the bunks of stars in their career. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you go back and watch the film, what do you, what do you, how do you uh, adjust to that? You know, you know, uh, what kind of teaching point you want to use for your players? Yeah, you know, it, it doesn't matter from an offensive line whether they were. You know, uh, an experienced one or inexperienced. You know, the big thing that we need to do, especially uh, you know, with our our front seven, is hey, how did do we fit everything right? You know, what was what was our technical flaws? Did we make the trips on our stunts? Did we use our hands? Did we fall as backers? Did we make you know, like I said, we, we missed the adjustment on that that first touchdown run that got out, um, and, and that's something that that. I expect our guys to be able to make, and they they do too. They they came right to the sideline and, and, and took ownership of it. And, uh, again, that's something we'll get handled and fixed. And, Brad, you talked uh, about the, the challenge of them stretching the field and challenging you deep all week. You feel like you they stepped up and met that challenge for the most part. Yeah, you know, it was not, like there were really no balls over our head. The only one that really went there was the only the two Tampa. You know, we were playing uh, cover two and. Um, you know, it kind of hit a whole shot there. Um, but other than that, I know that I need to go back and watch the, the film on the PI on Carrington. You know, from the sideline, it felt like it was uncatchable, but I don't, you know, we'll, you know, we'll see. Here. I mean, yeah, but, you know, I, we'll have to see what it was from a technique standpoint there. But uh, other than that, we did a nice job keeping it in front of us. I mean, they were a team that, that had a lot of excess with explosives. Um, and they still had their, their fair share when you get that cleaned up. But uh, overall, it's something to build on.